Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back. Um, I am really happy and excited tonight. I was looking at some of the pieces on my shelf and I came across one that was a Peacock Chaos Pour that was inspired by my good friend Erica Hughes. And um, I really enjoyed that pour and I really liked the way it came out, except I dropped a stick in it when it was drying. So <laughs> I kind of messed it up and I kept telling myself, I want to do that again. I want to do it again. So I've decided I want to do it again tonight. So that's what we're going to be doing is recreating that Chaos Peacock Pour, but on a 36 by 36. So I'm pretty excited about this one. Um, I decided on this size because I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do and maybe I should do a small one and I thought, you know what, I'm always telling them to dream big, so I'm going to go big too. So this is our 36 by 36 inch gallery wrap canvas from Artist Loft. I have taped the back and put my push pins in and painted my sides and edges with my Amsterdam bluish green. Let me show you the colors real quick. Not a very complicated palette tonight, but really beautiful. Ooh. Okay. So, first one we have is our Amsterdam greenish blue. Everything is mixed with Liquitex gloss medium and Floetrol and water. Nice and thin, not leaving any kind of mound, just sinking into itself straight away. Okay. Amsterdam greenish blue. Then I have also my Amsterdam Magic, my twins, the Amsterdam Pearl Green and the Pearl Blue. In the last painting we did, oh, I wanted to show you paintings. I'll show you those in a minute, okay. In the last one we did the, <laughs> the one where I was playing with the leaf, uh, leaf me to play. I combined the blue and the green pearls from Amsterdam, the magic ones that color shift. And I really like the way it came out. Let me show you that painting actually before I forget, because I really, really like it. So this is the one that we were playing on and playing on. And then at the last minute I said, you know what, let me do another cup on top of it. I'm so glad I did because I love what's happening all through here. I think it's so pretty with those pearls doing that color shifty thing. And I love this pop of like kind of green. It's just so pretty to me. And then the best little part, HOA, can you see like right over here? Yeah. There's a little tiny leaf under the bank. It's so cute, it's like perfect too. So I will definitely be doing that uh, pearl magic with the imprint from the jacaranda leaves on top of this, probably the next one that we do. But tonight I wanna do this first, so. Okay, so I wanted to show you that. And then I also wanted to very quickly thank my friend Lori Sparkle, the lovely Sparkle. Uh, she sent me this apron for my birthday and she sent me a couple of other things I wanna share with you that are because they're so pretty this beautiful alcohol ink and she's put it on a little magnet thing which is so cute i'm in love with it i think it's adorable so thank you so much sparkle and she sent me a beautiful painting which is called city lights which i was so excited about look how cool that is hoa isn't that awesome Very cool. thank you so much Lori. this is so special to me i really appreciate you okay so make sure you check out her channel it's art by sparkle and she's hilarious and awesome and you'll love her. So check out her channel. All right, so we did the greenish blue. We did the pearl magic. Okay, we got our Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. This one is a smidge thicker than everything else. Just the tiniest bit. Okay, and then we have Golden's Permanent Violet Dark. Okay, so those are the four colors we're using. And then I have taken these over. The Amsterdam greenish blue. And I mixed up this huge tub of it for my base coat. And this is super thin. And then I decided I want it just to be a tiniest bit different than this one. So this is the greenish blue by itself. And this is the greenish blue. And I've added just about an ounce to this big, huge <laughs> tub just to give it the slightest color change and add a little bit of shimmer from the DecoArt Deep Sapphire. So, and this one's nice and thin. This is gonna be our base coat color. So, the game plan is to have one set of colors on this corner coming out, and then one set on that corner, then we'll put down the center base coat, and then we'll blow them over. So it's gonna be very, very pretty. All right, we're gonna do this on a dry canvas. I'm gonna start with the greenish blue because I do want that to blend into the base and the background. 
Okay. We're going to go with a little bit of gold. Not as much gold. As, as we all know, it can take over. Okay. Some of the permanent violet dark. And our Amsterdam magic, the blue and the green pearl. So I'm going to turn this, I guess that's kind of where it was, <laughs> get those out of the way. Okay, we're going to be using the Makita Mini Cordless Leaf Blower with the Progressive Trigger covered in paint and we're going to blow this up. So the game plan is to blow out the center and the sides and not so much this area until after we have our base cooked up. Are you ready husband of awesomeness? We're going to start kind of over there. Yes, my love. Thank you. Here we go. So far, and I'm gonna go out that way afterwards. So let's put some paint on the other corner now. Let's be going for yourselves. Yay. Okay, so we're gonna have to paint over here now. So again, I'm gonna start with that greenish blue, but I'm kind of heavier on the sides, and not so much on the top. one out. I'm going to go this way first. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, my love. I'm going to start about here, probably. Here we go.
Okay, that's pretty cool. I realize it looks like a lot of space, but that's something that's easily fixed. The last big one that I did, softly cinnamon, and then there was one other 36 by 36 that I did um, that I felt like I had these two corners coming out too much, and then when I put the base coat down there, ended up being too much paint in the center. So that's why they're minimal this time and I have more space here so that I can blow off any extra base coat before I blow these out. And if these are coming out far enough, I can always add more paint. So that's what I mean by easily fixable. So we're just kind of going in gradually in steps, that's all. All right, now we're gonna take that base coat and pour it down the center and we're gonna blow this out too. It's such a pretty color. And it's just slightly different than the the greenish blue because it's got a little tiny bit of that deep sapphire in it. So let's blow that out and we have more. Right. Let's go this way first, I guess. Radiate your way? I lost. I'm trying purposely not to use too much in the center here, so. Okay, I'm just gonna put a very thin line 
I have the clothes extender along here. And along this edge too. That doesn't so feel right like there, but it's okay. Okay. Now's the fun part. <laughs> It's more fun than that? Oh yes. This is the really fun part. And I think I do want to put also a little bit more of the pearl on each side as well. Because I love how that looks on top of each other. I'm gonna do some purple too. We'll put a little bit of gold in there while we're at it, right? <laughs> Might as well. Oh, and I don't have a lot of paint in the center, which is what's making me want to have a little bit more paint to move out. I don't want that much negative space, so I do need to have the paint to move into the middle. All right, this is the fun part now. <laughs> Let's start over here, yeah? So you'll notice that I don't have a huge puddle over here or a huge puddle in the middle. There's a very, very thin layer in the center so that I can blow this out and it's still gonna dry and not crack, so. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, my love. Here we go. What do you think? Are they too uniform? Should I make a couple longer? Should we put a little bit more paint down? Yeah. Think so? A little bit. I think I want to blow that side out first before I do that though. I think that's a great idea. I can always add more. <laughs> want to put a little bit more paint right over there in that bald spot just because it's not worth the drama to get it all to move just put a little bit more paint down it's all good 
Okay. Now, do you want to add some of the permanent violet over here? A little bit more gold. way first yeah are you ready husband of <laughs> are you ready husband of awesomeness yes my love <laughs> okay here we go cells coming up in here okay this is good I'm happy I just gotta fix that corner real quick and then uh, we'll torch it and that's cool so I those of you who watched the last one the peacock chaos one and I think there was one more after that jungle cruise maybe it was also a blowout. In both of those, I felt like I had a lot of paint in the center left, so this time I was really trying to be a lot more minimal with how much I put down to begin with, knowing I was gonna blow these petals over it. So, I like the way this turned out. I think it's really cool. I love all of this, it's really pretty. I like the cells that are coming up. This side that's more developed, you see the cells have popped up more. Really pretty stuff. This right there is a little more solid than I want, but I'm not going to touch it. <laughs> I'm just going to torch it.
Okay, that's looking pretty good. So the reason that the cells come up on this is because the, actually the blower is actually blowing the air over itself and kind of skimming the surface and creating all of those cells. I think it's pretty awesome. Okay. Alright, this is looking pretty awesome. I'm very happy with this. What do you think, Ishua? You're good? Yep. Okay, awesome. It's a beauty. I it's think that paper. was, and now I'm just not going to drop anything in it and we'll be good. <laughs> it's so frustrating. But you know, I want to share things like that with you because sometimes stuff like that happens and you can't really do anything about it after the fact. So, you know. Except report. And learn from the mistake. <laughs> what happened that you dropped the thing? I actually opened the garage door and realized that I need to clean off the edge of that door before I open it again because something could fall in the painting. So, that being said, <laughs> we'll show you when it's dry. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day.